What's going on, everybody? This is Robert with Robert Saves History, and today is July 22nd. This is History in the Past. Stay tuned while we jump into our time machine to go back into the past to learn a little bit of history about this date. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so on this date, back in 1916, a massive parade that was held in San Francisco, California to celebrate Preparedness Day was in, in, in anticipation of the United States' entrance into World War I was disrupted by an explosion of a suitcase bomb which killed 10 bystanders and wounded 40 more. In 1991, <clears throat> um... The cannibal and serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer was arrested and caught. Um, in 2005, the March of the Penguins, which is a French-made uh, a documentary about the Empire Penguins in Antarctica, opens in theaters across the United States. The movie re the movie won numerous awards, including an Oscar, and making it become the, the highest grossing documentary in movie history. In 1862, President Abraham Lincoln informs his chief advisors and cabinet that he will be issuing a proclamation to free and enslave enslaved people, but adds that he will wait until the Union Army has achieved a substantial military victory to make the announcement um let's see here in 2013 weighing at a healthy weight of eight pounds six ounces the first child of the duke and duchess of cambridge which is formerly known as prince william and kate middleton was born on this date july 22nd 2013 at St. Mary's Hospital in London, England. <clears throat> and last but not least, the most disturbing history, I don't, I don't even know. But in 2003, Jessica Lynch, which was a private in the United States Army, was a prisoner of war. Um, so what happened... <coughs> was <clears throat> Jessica Lynch was a supply clerk for the United States Army and <clears throat> in um so in 2000 in March March 23rd um just days after US invades Iraq Lynch was riding with the supply convoy uh, when her unit took a wrong turn and was ambushed by Iraqi forces. Um, 11 American soldiers died and four were four besides Lynch was captured. Now <clears throat> Lynch was uh, Lynch sustained some broken bones some other injuries because of the car crash um, was taken Lynch was taken to an Iraqi hospital she was treated for her her injuries the US special forces raided the hospital that she was in rescued her brought her to a a military hospital in Germany and then she was sent home to the United States but this is where it turns really weird. The military is calling her the little girl Rambo. Um, but that's not true. She came out and said that um, she, <clears throat> that one, she was unconscious due to the vehicle crash. 
um, and that um, she couldn't remember the details of what happened to her. She also said that she was never mistreated by the hospital staff and they, the hospital staff, did not show any resistance in her rescue, as in they didn't fight back, they didn't do anything. They said, here's your soldier, here you go, we took care of her, bye. That's it. But the government <clears throat> embellishing her story to boost the patriotism and promote the controversy of the Iraq war. Um, she later then testified to the to Congress that she had falsely been portrayed as the little girl Rambo and the U.S. military had hyped her story for propaganda reasons. According to Lynch, and I quote, I am still confused as why they chose to lie and tried to make me a legend when the real heroic of my fellow soldiers that day were in fact legendary. She then added, I quote, the truth of war is not always easy to hear, but is always more heroic than the hype. In other words, the government made it out to be, oh my gosh, the Iraqi soldiers tortured her and she became a prisoner of war and, 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 and they, they fought back against us and blah, blah, blah. But another, but, but in reality, she was hurt. She was taken to a hospital. She was cared for. And then she was given back to us unharmed. And this is coming from the person that was captured. So that's mind blowing. That's crazy. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. We will see you tomorrow, July 23rd. This is history in the past. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you would like to make a monetary donation to help to support my channel, please click the link in the description below to my merch store and to my PayPal account. I have also linked a few links from Kelico Metal Detecting Company to help you save money on your next adventure saving history. I would like to also thank each and every one of you for all of your support for my channel and for this community and continue saving history.